boy whose cannabis oil was confiscated by home office fighting for life. A severely epileptic boy who had his cannabis oil confiscated by the home office will remain in hospital after a string of life-threatening seizures. Billy Caldwell, 12, was admitted to Chelsea and Westminster Hospital in London on Friday after his seizures intensified, a family statement said. His mum Charlotte Caldwell said, if Billy dies, which is looking increasingly possible, then the home office, and MP Nick Heard, will be held completely accountable she said. Charlotte told Sky News that she was absolutely devastated that her son's brutal condition had returned with a vengeance. She added, he's a beautiful, sweet, innocent wee boy who doesn't deserve this callous treatment. On Friday night, the home office said it was in contact with Billy's medical team and said they would carefully consider what options are available if they advise a particular type of treatment is urgently required. Doctors said it was too dangerous to treat him with rescue meds at home and he can now be treated only with hospital-administered medicine. Charlotte had a batch of medicinal cannabis oil taken from her at Heathrow Airport on Monday after a flight from Canada. She said, We've now reached the point where Billy is too ill to travel to get his medication, but his medication is stored minutes away from where we're now living in London. Despite the best and honest efforts of the NHS, Frontline doctors are fighting Billy's condition with both hands tied behind their back because the only medication that will be effective is the cannabis oil. Charlotte credits the oil with keeping her six son seizures at bay, saying he was seizure-free for more than 300 days while on the medication. She added doctors in Canada and Northern Ireland familiar with Billy's case said the situation was life-threatening. The child, from Castle Durgan C.O. Tyrone started the treatment in 2016 in the U.S., where medical marijuana is legal. He became the first person in the U.K. to receive a prescription after his local GP in Northern Ireland, Brendan O'Hare, began writing scripts. However, there is no record of a health service prescription being dispensed. Dr. O'Hare was summoned to a meeting with home office officials and told to stop. Charlotte made the trip to Toronto and back with her sick son to get a six-month supply to treat up to 100 seizures a day, but said border officials seized the oil. Devastating impact of drug spice on UK streets How long do points stay on your license for in the UK? Single dad, 27, transforms into Spider-Man to help autistic son during meltdowns A home office spokesman said. We are deeply sympathetic to the extremely difficult situation that Billy and his family are in. Billy is in the care of medical professionals who are best placed to assess the care and treatment that he requires. The home office is contacting Billy's medical team. If the team treating Billy advise a particular course of urgent action, the home office will carefully consider what options are available to help facilitate that advice. If you have a story for our news team, Email us at webnews at metro.co.uk. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter.